Accept Azara's power from Ernok, Stone Speaker, at 4363. We should make our way to the Throne of Tides within the Abyssal Maw, where this scepter awaits. We must be careful. I fear Neptalon's realm may be compromised. Travel northwest to the Abyssal Maw to 6827. Let yourself fall through the cyclone into the depths below. Head northeast to the Throne of the Tides instance portal. The Naga are tormenting that sea giant. How should we proceed? Travel north through the Abyssal Halls and attack the Naga Brutes who are guarding Grash. Heal Grash to full health. We mean you no harm, giant. They control us. They kill. Shaman, speak with him. Perhaps we can gain a new ally. Speak with Grash and select the text requesting him to join your group. seen our missing shaman and the artifact we seek now we must find a way stand near grass now and during the fights in this scenario as you will pull any trash mobs off of you follow ornok and grash north to 5075 where grash will break down a barrier for you well that will be continue north with your party to 5052 the giant has seen Charistal, the scepter of tides. We are close. Keep him alive, and he will protect us.
What are Ashara's minions doing to this place? The Scepter of Tides. It's here. I found it. They're using it to whip creatures of this realm into a frenzy. Sharastal is held by Lady Zithrin. She was using me as bait. We should turn back. This whole realm is a trap. You underestimate the shaman I have brought. Click on Wave Speaker Adelaide to free her and recruit her into your group. Maybe I can help. Something is near. Something big. Speak with Grash when you're ready to proceed. Follow Grash into the next group where he will tank Kralis. If the scepter is here. This may be our only chance to capture it, and turn its power against the Legion. Stop casting spells when Kralis casts Deafening Roar, as it will interrupt spell casts and prevent spell casting for two and a half seconds afterward. Prepare to apply a big heal to the target who is marked with Wreck. After Kralis dies, enter the elevator to the north to 4984. Click on the bubble up when you're ready to proceed. After the cutscene, follow Grash in the next room. Lead Grash north to 5056, past the waves as you dodge them. Lead Grash forward. He can act as a breakwater for us. Charistar, the scepter of tides is steeped in legend. Through its power, Ashara enabled her followers to live in the sea. Is it dangerous? It has dominion of the waters of Azeroth, the very stuff of life. In the right hands, it could be a font of healing instead of corruption. If you are struck by a wave, you will be pushed back to just behind Grash. Using your Ghost Wolf ability can be an asset during this stage. Sharazdal is mine! For the glory of my queen alone! 
Lady Zithrin is in the throne room beyond. Speak with Grash to inform him when you're ready to continue. Defeat Lady Zithrin in the chamber beyond. Your cause is hopeless, Sea Witch. No matter how you bend the elements to your will, they will never truly serve you. Use AoE heals when Zithrin begins to conjure water globules. Use Purify Spirit on your party members and self when struck by the Heart of the Frost Dot. Use this ability wisely as the mana cost will add up throughout this fight. When she casts Control Thoughts on Grash, use this time to heal up your other allies. After Zithrin is defeated, Sharastal will drop to the ground. It's over, Zithrin. Tell us, what did Ashara plan to do with this realm? I will tell you nothing! <laughs> well then, I guess... I guess we're done talking here. Dead now! Take up the scepter, shaman. You have earned... Pick up Sharastal to collect your artifact weapon. Feel its power coursing through you, Shaman. The waters that Ashara tried to turn against us are now yours to command. <laughs> Magic stick! Come. Let us return to the others. I never thought I would someday long for the peace and quiet of the Maelstrom. Click on the bubble to the Maelstrom. Turn the quest to Stormcaller Myla. May the ancestors watch over you. 